Hi, I'm Tricia, an organic gardener. I grow organically for a healthy and safe food supply, for a clean and sustainable environment, for an enjoyable and rewarding experience. House plants are a wonderful addition to any decor. And organic gardening isn't just for edibles, it's great for your house plants too. The first step to successful house plant care is to know the cultural requirements of the plants that you're growing. Find out how much light it likes, how much water, and if it needs more humidity than your house normally has. Watering is usually the Achilles heel for house plant growers. You can't water by the calendar. For happy plants, you have to water by the plant's needs. Use room temperature water, and if you have chlorinated water, let the water sit for about 24 hours so that the chlorine can dissipate. Most house plants have the bulk of their roots in the bottom two-thirds of the pot, so if you water when the top of the soil is dry, you are probably overwatering. A better indicator is a moisture meter, like this. Or you can do a good old finger test. Poke your finger up to your middle joint into the pot and only water the plant if the tip of your finger feels barely moist. It's important to let the topsoil dry out a bit. This helps prevent pests like fungus gnats. There are two ways of watering. Top watering is when you water the plant until the saucer fills up with water. Once that's happened, you throw away the water in the saucer because you don't want the plant to be sitting in that water. You can bottom water by putting the pot into two to three inches of water and wait for it to wick up to the top of the soil. Tropical plants, or citrus, grown indoors usually like the climate to be a little bit more humid than what you'll have during the heating season in the winter. I'll show you a trick to make sure that these plants get as much humidity as they need. Fill a saucer with gravel or rocks, add water, and set the pot on top. It's important to fertilize your house plants. They live in very little soil, so it's important to replenish the nutrients. For house plants, use a balanced fertilizer like this one from E.B. Stone, or Down to Earth, or Dr. Earth. For a liquid fertilizer, I like this Earth Juice Grow. House plants should be fertilized every one to three months, March through September. Synthetic fertilizers often create problems with salt buildup, and organic fertilizers take that hassle completely away. I also like to feed my plants with a healthy dose of liquid kelp, so that I'm sure they get all the micronutrients that they need. You can feed your plants by spraying it on them, which is called foliar feeding, for immediate uptake, or you can make a soil drench. Pests can happen even on your house plants. Dealing with them organically starts with prevention. Choose the right plant for your spot, water and fertilize regularly, use organic potting soil, not garden soil, and make sure and look out for pests. I like this Peaceful Valley organic potting soil because it stays fluffy, it has great moisture retention, and it's organic. Washing the leaves of your smooth-leaved plants will help too. This makes sure that any accumulation of dust won't interfere with the sunlight. Using a soft, moist cloth, simply clean off the leaves periodically. If they have small leaves, take the plant outside and spray it down with lukewarm water. Don't use a duster. That can spread plant mites and eggs. Pick off any large pests you see. Sometimes if house plants are placed outdoors during the summer, they can pick up hitchhikers. To get small pests like aphids off your plants, wash the leaves with a soft cotton cloth and warm water. You can also clean off some pests with a forceful spray of lukewarm water. Sometimes it's best just to prune out some badly infested sections. You can also get these adhesive traps, like these gnat sticks that just stick in the soil. And this helps control houseplant pests like aphids and fungus gnats and houseplant lice. If you're still having trouble, there are organic controls labeled for houseplants. Read all the labels and make sure that they're labeled for the pests that you want to control and that your label is for use on the species of plant that you have. Grow plants indoors and grow organic for life.